Hello YouTube, today we're going to be doing an example on rocket propulsion. We're just going to be doing a basic example involving an astronaut. Um, so, like, just imagine this astronaut and they're wearing those uh, man maneuvering units, that little, well not really little, but huge box thing kind of on the back. That kind of helps astronauts maneuver in space without being connected directly to uh, maybe the shuttle or whatever. Um, so, there's going to be a problem with that, so or a problem not with that, but a problem involving that. So here's this problem. Here is that 70 kilogram astronaut, just like in this picture right here, floating in space. Ignore the rocket to the right, it kind of turned out of whatever, but it's floating in space. And there are 110 kilogram MMU, there's that manned maneuvering unit, experiences an acceleration of 0 0.029 meters per second squared. So that box on the back is firing a thruster, and it's causing the astronaut to accelerate at that rate. Um, when he fires one of the thrusters, if, okay, so if the speed of the escaping nitrogen gas relative to the astronaut is 490 meters per second, how much gas is used by the thruster in 5 seconds, and what is the thrust of the thruster? Now, I might be looking at it real quick, like, oh, okay, it didn't really get that much. Well, just what I usually do is always write the given information. So mass of the astronaut, 70 kilograms. Mass of the man maneuvering unit, or the mass of the unit, is 110 kilograms combined. You can call it the mass total is 110 kilograms. That I just, you know, you kind of do that because you may need to use combined units for later because it's moving together as one, so you kind of write that information. Then the acceleration was given um, to be 0 0.029 meters per second squared, and the velocity relative to um, the astronaut, so we're in a moving reference frame, I think, um, is 490 meters per second. Or not moving reference frame because it's relative to the frame. Well, anyway. So um, then what is the thrust of the thruster? So what are we looking for? So what are the two pieces of information? Well, A, how much gas is used? Well, gas, how much? And dealing with mass. Um, so, oh, well, it's still button. in five seconds, so that was another given information. But we're asking again how much mass is used. So that's the change in mass over time. Um, what is the thrust of the thruster? Thrust meaning force. Um, so these are the two things we're interested in, and this is all the information given out to us. So let's uh, take a look at the rocket propulsion equations that we'll be using. So acceleration for rocket propulsion um, is the negative velocity over m times the change in mass over time, since um, as a rocket takes off, um, it's losing mass, losing fuel uh, specifically. Um, and we're going to obviously be using Newton's second law um, as it regards to force. So, uh, the first part, part asked for how much gas was used. Remember that was dm dt is what we're looking for. So simply by manipulating the acceleration equation, um, you can uh, solve for the change in mass over time. So, uh, plug in the information. So we have the total mass of the entire system, because the rocket and the maneuvering unit are moving together as one, as the acceleration, as it's accelerating. So you have that mass, um, and how fast is the... Nitrogen gas escaping, well that's at 490 meters per second, so you plug that in and we said it was accelerating at 0 0.029 meters per second squared, that should say, uh, no, that should say squared, meters per second squared. Um, get that there, and you have, uh, plug in the calculations and you have point, negative 0 0.0106 kilograms seconds, uh, kilograms per second, so that's how much mass is losing per second. Now, uh, the question was how much in 5 seconds, so simply multiply by 5 to get rid of the seconds and it'll tell you exactly how much mass was lost, so 0 0.053 kilograms. The second part asked how much thrust was resulted, so thrust meaning force, and force is equal to mass times acceleration. Acceleration will simply plug in the um, acceleration rocket propulsion equation um, for the acceleration portion. Now notice how the m's will cancel, uh, so that's why we were just given uh, this that's why the equation ends up to be like this. So the velocity we have given was negative 409 or er, ne 490 meters per second, and it's negative because it's going the opposite direction. Times the change in mass over time, which we calculated right before we multiplied by five seconds, because um, that's just how much is leaving per second, leaving how much gas is leaving. And since force is equal to mass times acceleration, we get the uh, newton of um, how much force is causing the um, astronaut to get thrusted. So that's thrust um, from the thruster. So that is a typical rocket propulsion equation. I thought it was pretty cool, pretty basic. 
I'm just kind of thinking about this picture here, about this astronaut moving, um, and kind of get an idea of what's going on and just going over the basics ideas of rocket propulsion. All right, hope this helped, and keep practicing.